Hello guys, what's up? I'm this James from Tech Room Solution. Um, today's video, I'm gonna explain to you how to use the multiple SSID of your PLDT router. So, sa mga hindi nakakaalam ko ano ang multiple SSID, ang multiple SSID is just um, multiple Wi-Fi connection um, in your PLDT router. So, nung nagkaroon kayo ng PLDT router, akala nyo pwede lang kayong magkaroon ng isang Wi-Fi connection sa inyong nag-iisang router. Actually, pwede kayong magkaroon ng two or more Wi-Fi connection sa inyong PLDT router. So, in this video guys, I'm gonna explain to you how to use it. But, hindi ko may papakita sa inyo sa video na ito kung paano mag-create o paano mag-setup ng multiple SSID sa inyong PLDT router. So, I'm gonna do a separate video on that. Um, I'm just gonna put the link of that video to the description box. So, I'm gonna go now to my computer to show you or um, to explain to you how do I use the multiple SSID of my PLDT router. IT ako sa isang church during ordinary days. Uh, Monday to Saturday walang problema sa pag-connect sa internet so hindi ko masyadong iniisip ang internet speed during ordinary days but during church service or that is Sunday we do the live streaming so alam nyo na live streaming needs a strong internet connection so sa church namin of course may mga nakakonect na tao sa internet connection and marami sila so for example church service ngayon it's Sunday so we need to do the live stream and that day of course I need a strong internet connection So, how do I deal with them sa internet connection since marami silang nakakonect? Kailangan ko ba silang isa-isahin at sabihin na during live streaming, walang mga internet ha? Pwede naman, may may kinig naman, but of course, palaging may matigas ang ulo, di ba? So, how do I deal with that kind of situation? So, this is my solution using the multiple SSID of PLDT router. What I did is I created two SSID or two Wi-Fi connections. Sa isang router lang to ha. So, I created Wi-Fi Connection 1 and Wi-Fi Connection 2. Sino na ako sa Wi-Fi Connection 1? Siyempre ako. So, sa Wi-Fi Connection 2, ako din. At yung mga sinasabi kong tao sa church na nakakonect. So, ordinary days from Monday to Saturday, Wi-Fi Connection 1 and Wi-Fi Connection 2 is turned on. But during church service that is Sunday, we do the live streaming. Ang ginagawa ko, I disable the Wi-Fi Connection 2. So, wala silang internet during the live stream. I still have the Wi-Fi connection 1. So, I'm still connected to the internet. And if merong taong kailangan na nakakonect pa dun sa Wi-Fi during the live stream, I connect him to the Wi-Fi connection 1. Then, after the live stream, I just turn on the Wi-Fi connection 2 para magka-internet ulit sila. So, I don't need to deal with them one by one para sabihin na huwag mo nang mag-internet during the live stream. So, mas pinadali ko ang trabaho ko, di ba? So that's it guys, um, that's how I use the multiple SSID of my PLDT router. So I'm gonna give you another situation where you can use the multiple SSID of your PLDT router. So for example, if you are a parent and meron ka mga anak and nakakonect sila sa internet of course, um, gusto mo lang silang nakakonect um, hanggang 10pm ng gabi. So ang dapat mo lang gawin is just connect them to the Wi-Fi connection 2 and Every 10 p.m. ng gabi, just disable the Wi-Fi connection 2. So, you still have the Wi-Fi connection 1. So, kahit nakapatay yung Wi-Fi connection 2, um, sila lang ang mawawalan. Ikaw meron pa rin dahil meron ka pa rin Wi-Fi connection 1. Ganun guys, um, ganun kong ginagamit ang multiple Wi-Fi or multiple SSID ng aking PLDT router. So, sana may natutunan kayo sa video na to. And if you like my video, please thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Um, You can also watch my other videos to the description box. Um, I'm gonna put the link of the my other PLDT videos to the description box. So just check it. Again guys, please subscribe for more future videos. Thank you for watching this video guys and have a nice day and see you on my next video.